What's up, YouTube? YBC Nation. It's YBC. And I'm back. Bring you guys some Call of Duty Black Ops 3 gameplay. This gameplay, I have a quick scoping match. I saw you guys liked the previous quick scoping match I did with Jordan, and I brought it back for you guys again. And shout out to Omari, Ray, and Charles because they were the ones in this one doing it with me. And if you want to play a 1v1 or a quick scoping match with me, it's just very simple. DM me on Twitter or comment below, and I will get back to you. And in the next quick scoping video, which will probably be in maybe five or six days or in a week, I don't know. But in the next quick scoping video, I am going to tell you guys the story of my quick scoping experience with my friends back in the old Call of Duty days. It was a story, like basically a story that I want to tell you guys since I started YouTube, but I didn't really have that much people watching my videos. I only had about five views for like the first few weeks, and I really wanted to share the story and I think it's perfect now considering all the support I get on Call of Duty Black Ops 3 and I will be sh sharing that story with you guys next video and without further of me talking let's hop into this gameplay and I am on a streak right here I am really tearing it up and Omar's username is Trap King Omar he doesn't really come until later Charles is big underscore C and some numbers like 640 and Ray is Drift Team Ray of course <laughs> and right here I see Ray slipping and I stitch him up right there, and in the middle of all this, Ray <laughs> pulls out a, a submachine gun, and he, he got mad. We kept beasting on him, and he didn't really know how to quick scope. And good stitching by Charles. And like I said, Ray <laughs> kind of cheats a little bit right there, but yeah, it's all good though. And I get a nice. Ooh, I get a two shot, two kill, one shot, one kill. Except it's with two people. I'm not sure what you guys call that, but that was nice. And right here, <laughs> I used my active camo and Ray was slipping. And it's just all these quick scoping matches I've been doing. A recording call of Duty has been really, really fun for me. I will be getting uh, live commentaries out tomorrow. And right here, oh, I almost got knifed by Ray. And right here, this is semi 1v1 is I stitch Charles up right here. I get a lucky headshot. Not really lucky, but that was a super hard shot. And right here, I'm coming around and I see. Ray just sleeping again and I stitch him up right there and I get another UAV and Charles pulls out his war machine <laughs> right here he didn't see me I'm just messing with him oh I didn't even mean I didn't even mean to shoot him I, didn't, I mean I did but at the same time I did not if you guys know what I mean and right here Charles is getting stitched up he didn't see me again and I will give you guys like a little bit of a preview of my next quick stoping story or my story my story is about me, my friend Kyle, and my friend Joshua. About five years ago ish, four years ago, we were all in sixth grade, or we were in middle school, and we had a lot of fun quakes coming together and playing Modern Warfare 3 together. And basically, like in the olden Call of Duty days, and I will just be sharing a nice quick scoping story. And I just can't wait to get that out to you guys. And like I said, I try to get that out in the first few weeks of me doing YouTube and I just can't wait and right here I get stitched up by mp5 and oh, I was so close to a collateral oh my goodness that was so close and the funny thing was that he didn't have to use his fist and get a fist uh, kill because in quick scoping you don't really use your fist or knife and right here Ray pulled out his little submachine gun and he stitches me right there Pretty much almost all my deaths, or at least a lot of them, came from that. Came from Ray just abusing with that <laughs> submachine gun. And he's going to go back to sniping in a second or so. And right here, I catch Omari AFK. And finally, Omari comes in. And he's trying to do work. He's trying to come back. But it is too little, too late for Omari. As he goes AFK in the back right here. And I stitch him up right there. And AFK means away from keyboard, for those of you guys who don't know. And like I said about the story time series, I can't wait to get that out to you guys. If you guys have any comments or topics you guys want me to address, I will be happy to address them. I will be posting that story time series once a week. I'm not sure if I want to do story time Saturday, story time Sunday. I want to do something that's not taken already because a lot of other YouTubers have a lot of other types of story time videos and like SS Sniper Wolf I know you guys know her or a lot of you guys do 
and she has Ask Wolf basically as her story time where she addresses topics and stories like that and challenges and stuff like that. I wanted to create one of my own except not take anybody's that's already done. Like there's a story time episode. Ooh, and I get a nice trick shot right there. There's a story time already taken. I mean, that's pretty easy to take. Um, I'm not sure if I want to do story time Saturday or story time Sunday. I'm not sure if those are taking, but I'll do research and come up with a new name. And just let me know any topic you guys want me to address, anything in the comments. I will be happy to address in my videos, in my future videos of story time series. And thank you guys so much for the support. You guys are the reason why I'm able to do this. And we're just going to get two more kills right here and finish it off. But you guys are the real reason why I'm able to do this. I want to thank you guys all so much for the support. And let's just look at this kill cam one more time. And it was a nice quick scoring battle. And shout out again to Omari, Charles, and Ray for doing this quick scoping. And there yeah, you guys, just YBC Nation. Can we aim for 10 likes this video? 10 likes would be amazing. And it has been YBC, and I'm out. Peace.